Switzerland, a country known for their shared love of chocolate, cheese, and nature. Home to approximately 8 million people, Switzerland has a wide range of regional traditions. With neighbors like France, Italy, Austria, and Germany, it's no wonder that Swiss culture is characterized by neutrality and diversity. We're in Switzerland. I'm Colleen Kelly, and this is Family Travel. On this trip, we'll take a majestic bike ride through the mountains, visit an outdoor adventure park for kids, learn about a traditional Swiss instrument, search for pirates from a treasure train, and zip down the mountain on a thrilling toboggan ride. One, two, three. Three. My name is Colleen Kelly, and when I was single, I lived abroad and traveled the world. Then I became a parent and wondered, how would I ever travel again? So I set out to find a new way to travel and get back to exploring the world family style. I'm here to guide you on how to get the most out of your family vacation. Pack your bags and join me, Colleen Kelly. We're going on vacation. Funding provided by... I am never getting married. We're never having kids. Mm -mm. Ah! We are never moving to the suburbs. We're never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Parents say travel is educational. Kids just think it's fun. It's gotten me up close to dinosaurs, sharks, even real rockets. And that's pretty awesome. Family travel equals family fun. City Pass. Resorts for the whole family. Holiday Inn Club Vacations. We begin our adventure in Nenda, where I meet up with a few friends who show me some of the best bike trails in the Swiss Alps. Hi! Hi, Colleen. Thanks so much for meeting me. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Switzerland. It's beautiful here. I'm really excited. Are we ready to go mountain biking in the Alps? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let's go. Trails range from expert to beginner. While serious bikers can take a ski lift to the mountain summits, Leisurely riders can enjoy low-key, yet stunning trail rides. Oh, this is so beautiful. This really is beautiful. After our ride, I decide to stay up a little longer and soak up the mountaintop views. Meanwhile, Alexine and her son set off to learn about a traditional Swiss instrument, the Alphorn. Okay, alors bien le bonjour. The Alphorn maker speaks French only. Luckily, Alexine also speaks French, so she'll help Kaleo understand the basics of Alphorn making. Et puis on va essayer de vous présenter la fabrication. So Kaleo, he's gonna, he's saying welcome to Switzerland to come visit here, and he's gonna show us um, how to make an alp horn and how to share um, what it feels like when you play it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay. The alp horn dates back more than 500 years and is one of the few national traditions. Today, alp horns are mostly played by musicians in either festivals or concerts but their initial function was a form of communication among mountain dwellers and dairy farmers throughout Switzerland. <laughs> so he's saying that that's the history of the Alphorn. You can tell them that it's the ancestor of the cell phone. Do you understand why? Yeah, because it calls people. It calls people, that's right. So before we had cell phones, people used the Alphorn to call people. Yeah. The traditional Alphorn is hand carved from spruce or pine and is approximately 11 feet long. Alors c'est de nouveau un peu toujours la même chose en deux. On part avec un gros bout comme ça. So you start with a big piece like that. Après on creuse. And then you dig. Dessiner là, on a creusé ici. Yeah, you, you, they draw the shape on this and then they, they carve, carve in. On creuse avec des ciseaux à bois. With uh, wood scissors, they carve. Et puis avec des trucs comme ça, tu vois, on fait là, on coupe et on fait chut, 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 comme ça par là. And then with things like this, they just shave it. 
So it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time, yeah. We see how the pieces of the Alphorn come together and how every detail affects how the instrument sounds. Alors, plus il est fin, plus il a un joli son, plus il est facile à jouer. Okay, so he says that the thinner the wall is, the nicer the sound is and the easier it is to play the Alphorn. Francois makes carving and shaping the tube look easy enough. Alors, is it hard? Yeah. It's hard? Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take to make this thing? Il veut savoir combien de temps ça prend pour faire un corps des Alpes. Alors, un corps des Alpes entier, ça fait deux semaines. Wow. Two weeks to make one whole Alpine. Ah! It's a long time, huh? If my friends see this, they might say it's easy. It but looks... when I try it, it's going to be hard. Yeah. It looks easy, but it's not, huh? Il dit que ça a l'air facile comme ça, mais ça l'est pas. Oh. I think it's important for kids to see someone using their hands to make something like the horn because in our day and age, we lose touch with hard work and the value of, of building something with your hands. I mean, I try to teach my kids to play outside and use, you know, nature as much as possible and instead of being on the computer. So I think it kind of grounds you back to roots and nature, and it's important. The Alphorn is a simple instrument with no valves, keys, or holes. But it's that simplicity and its size that make it a difficult instrument to play. You ready? Alors, on d'y aller. Je te donne le départ. Okay. Attention. One, two, three. Oui. Vas-y, ton petit coup. Bravo. Bravo. Well done. Now, let's hear from a professional. What a beautiful sound. No wonder the Alphorn has stood the test of time. While some traditions like the Alphorn span across all of Switzerland, each region or canton is heavily influenced by its bordering country. Switzerland's cuisine is inspired by its neighboring countries, including Italy. And today, we're making pizza. We join some more friends, and together we roll up our sleeves, put on our chef hats, and learn how to make homemade pizza. Are you ready to make pizza? Yeah. Yeah, all right. We're making it from scratch. OK, we're beginning now for the first step. We put the water. OK, you put the water inside, please. Water. Okay. Okay, fine. After that, the salt and the sugar. Yeah, sugar. Okay. Oh, I got the salt. Did I get the sugar? Now the next step is the yeast. Okay. And you can sprinkle that was in your hand. See? And you mix. Hello. Do you like putting your fingers in? What does it feel like? <laughs> <laughs> A few simple ingredients. Add the flour, then mix. The kids love it. Charlie, what does it feel like? It feels like Play-Doh. Play-Doh? Oh, it does feel like Play-Doh. Yeah, this is fun, isn't it? After we thoroughly mix our dough, it's time to roll the perfect pizza crust. And now you put your finger like this, and okay. you open the pizza all the time for to make it wrong. So you're making it bigger with your fingers. Yes, and bigger with your fingers, and you put all the time. Look, okay. the chief, you show the techniques. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yes, oh. of course. Great. Yes, OK, you put all the time with one hand and the other one. And you turn all the time. One time in one side, the other time in the other side, OK? Yes. The kids and I try our hand at flattening the dough. Now we got to turn it, right? Are you ready? Can you turn it? All right. Look at this. This is teamwork here. Yes. You have to turn it around and put it like this with your fingers. You want to help us? Come help us. Yes. Flip it around. All right, we're in it. 
Oh, you really know your stuff. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> get some more flour. Okay, now he's teaching us. This is great. Is this your first time making a pizza? Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Once we get our dough to the right size, next we pour the sauce and pile on the toppings. That's a lot of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. Oh. It's a Swiss pizza. Yeah, Swiss pizza. I load up the cheese. So, oh, so I want more cheese. Want? More cheese, right? yes. Elle veut plus de fromage and quatre fromage. Lots and lots of cheese. Yes, yes. more fromage. The chief cut for you the, the cheese. Yes. You What's this? Put, you put like that under oh. pizza. Oh, want to help me? I love cheese. We're in Switzerland. You got to eat a lot of cheese. Okay, Ella, are you gonna? What are you gonna make this? Are you gonna make a face? Ooh. Do a salad. Which one's the ice? And Lauren, where are your eyes? Oh, yeah. Is it a boy or a girl? No. Oh, it's a girl. Of course it is. A happy pizza or a sad pizza? Happy. Yeah. Need ham. Oh, and, and girls, what, what's, what are you doing? What's the ham? What is that? Oh, the hair. And salami, OK. That's it. Break it up. The kids make their own pizzas like a pro. Then into the oven they go. Waiting the four minutes for them to cook is the hardest part. Ooh! ooh. Oh. Oh. Now we can taste it, the pizza, okay? Ooh, the fun part. You want a part? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Good. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Yeah, to Switzerland. Next stop, the largest bog adventure park in the Alps. The area around Rosefine is full of natural wonders that will ignite your senses. There's tons to see, smell, and touch. Let's go discover. Hi, hi, Olivia. How are you guys doing? All right. Good, how are you? I'm great. I'm having fun at this park. It's beautiful today. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like you guys are not just playing, but it's educational too, learning oh, a little something. The great part about it is that at every station, you learn something about it. Like this is a dragonfly. Oh, yeah. And they tell you something about the dragonfly. So you're learning a little bit about an animal and plant. Absolutely. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I saw a zip line over there for kids. Do you kids want to go on a zip line? Yeah. yeah? Come on. Yeah, let's all right, let's go. Come on. Okay, one, two, three! Woo! Hold on, Alina, hold on. Awesome! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> the park is free to the public and offers plenty of opportunities for little ones to climb, jump, and burn off some energy. All right, one last push, and then we're going to go on to the next thing. Are you ready? Woo! Go! <laughs> Woohoo! All around the park, there are hands-on education stations that are interesting for the whole family. Good. OK, so what are we going to do here? So you get this map when you get here, and um, you see all the stations that you can visit. And once you visited a station, you just pull the tab here, and it explains everything. It's like very educational. Oh, and it gives the kids um, a sense of accomplishment yeah, when you pull of all the tabs. It off. Yeah. OK, and so what are we going to do here? We're going to smell something, right? What are you doing, Eli? OK, it says, what smells so good? Press one of the four buttons several times and place your nose by the fragrance or your finger. Let's see if we smell something. What do we smell? Nothing. I smell, I can smell it from here. I oh, smell something. Oh, it's like a tree. Ooh, it smells like a pine tree. Let me try. Okay. They know. Ooh, that smells actually good. It smells like flowers. Smell that. Yeah. The interactive map lets kids lead the way through the course. You just talk to that is a pirate's bed, huh? And on a stormy night, get up there to your mom. Ice, five, three, woo! <laughs> Another fun way to soak up the Swiss sun and explore the countryside with little kids is to plan a hike or picnic with a pony ride. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Hi. <gasps> Hi, how are you? Welcome Hi. at the Spiesbode at the farm. 
This is Fluckly and this is Attila. We will prepare the ponies and then we will go to to the mountain with the ponies. Oh, that sounds Ride great. Them. Up here in this gorgeous mountains, these? Yes. Okay, this would be great. This sounds awesome. First, we get to know our new little friends. And <laughs> what do they eat, ponies? They eat apple, bread, and grass. Sounds like the same things you eat, right? <laughs> Besides the grass. No, I like grass. You like, oh, you do like grass. No. Oh, no. yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> the kids enjoy being part of the preparations. First, they help brush the ponies. Yeah, horsey. <laughs> horsey. She's so cute. Do you like horses? Do you want to ride a horsey? <gasps> Are you going to ride a horsey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we learn how to saddle them up before taking a ride on the trails. Who is ready to ride? Me. OK, then we'll start. She's going to lift you up, Alina. Then you get to get off the horse. Yeah. Hold them really Here. good. You hold them. Oh. Okay. Look at how excited she is. <laughs> and then I will help you. What are you going to say? Yeehaw! 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 Okay. What a fun way for the kids to ride off into the sunset. Cable cars in Switzerland are a great mode of transportation. They not only provide stunning views, but the kids love them as well. However, when you go up the mountain, be sure to check when the last cable car goes down, because they don't always run 24 hours. If you're a Swiss local, getting around by cable car can be part of everyday life. I meet up with a family who own a resort in Reeder Alp. And their kids have a pretty incredible ride to school. Tell me about this town, because this is really cool. I took the gondola up here. Yes, yeah, that's right. It's a car-free resort. Um, it's called Reeder Alp, and the cable car. Um, the girls are very lucky, because that's their way of getting to school every morning. Yeah. You go to school on a cable yeah, car? Yeah, and our school oh. is just down there. Do you take it on your own? Uh, yeah, with some other friends. Yeah? My girls would love taking a cable car to school. That's just one of the many differences of growing up in Switzerland, where nature is at your fingertips. Living in a resort town, these girls really know about and take advantage of the great activities Reader Alp has to offer. They do not take it for granted. So basically, our home is kind of like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> you are a very lucky girl, except you do have to go to school in a gondola. In a gondola. That's not too bad. And that's pretty nice. Like a modern day Heidi. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> But while cable cars work for shorter trips, the best way to really cover some ground is by train. I join some friends on a special train ride that leads us on a pirate's treasure hunt. OK, so what are we going to do here? We're going to go on a treasure hunt. We have to look for the pirates and then write the numbers up the crew. And then in the end, we have to, when we're at Engelsberg, we have to see if we have four right, and if we have four right, we get a treasure. Well, you get a prize at the yeah. end. Well, that's yeah. cool. That's fun. Pirate clues can be found along the train's route. We keep our eyes peeled for members of Captain Engelbart's crew. I hear they go by fast. Oh, look, think, look, 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 look. I think we missed it. Mm. No, 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 no. Okay, which number was that? Five. Was, okay, five. Five. It was the okay, girl pilot. Pirate. Girl pirate. Okay. Between the five of us, we easily check off our list. Who's going to win? Jojo. I love it. Kiki. It's Jojo. Oh, 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 you got it. Yes. Good job. Good job. Jojo, the monkey. One. All right. Okay. What number did he have? One. Okay. So we're gonna put Kiki, one do you want to write one this time? So who do you think is going to win next? Me. Mm. You, me. Okay. Yes! yes! Oh, yes! 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 y
Who's is that? Snark. 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 Awesome. Snark. Number two. Searching for pirates and keeping track on our maps really makes the ride go fast. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, you got it. Got it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Got it. Yeah. yeah, good job. All right, you finally got yours. Yeah. Good job. So wait, it looks like we're going to get a prize, all five. Mm -hmm. oh. No, six. We got six, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right. Now, these trains are awesome. Do you take trains a lot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the time. Where do you go on a train? Shopping. Cinema, swimming. Yeah. Really, all those places. Well, so in the United States, you can't drive till like you're 16, but you can't drive here till when? Till you're 18. Yeah, but we don't have these kind of trains. You yeah. don't? No. If we had these trains, it'd be awesome. You'd get around really easily, and these views, it's beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Engelberg. Hi. Did you make the treasure hunt? We did. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? May I see? Oh, that's everything OK. So you get one of those. A little treasure. And you as well. Oh. <laughs> so have a nice time here in Engelberg. Enjoying the day here. I wish you a very nice day. Great. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye-bye. 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 All right, let's just see what's in it. What's in it? I'm to break. I think it's candy. <gasps> Yes, it's yes. chocolate, Swiss chocolate. What else is in there? I got these two. Oh, stickers. Come coupon. Oh, a coupon? Yay. Wow. I the monkey. <laughs> I stuck the monkey. Located in central Switzerland, Ingelberg means Angel Mountain, and I can see why. This village has panoramic views as well as cable car access to Mount Titlis, the highest glacier in the region. We decide to end our Swiss adventure with a scenic yet speedy ride down the mountain in a toboggan. So welcome to the UNESCO Biosphere Entlebuch near Lucerne. We are now in the shadow of the famous Schrattenflu on the Richelieu Run. A toboggan is a simple sled which is traditionally used to carry people across the snow. Today, anyone can enjoy toboggan rides for fun, year-round. Like all rides, first we get a lesson in safety. May I have a helper? Okay, please. So this is the brake, and this lift brings you up after that to the mountain. Then you, you drive automatically down the run. If you want to speed up, you take the brake this way. If you have to brake, to stop, take it to you. On the, on the, on the left side, on the, from the run, it's written bremsen. Bremsen means, in English, brake. Okay, so it's written in German. It's so written in German. I have to memorize that, right? One word you have to learn <laughs> in German. Bremsen, bremsen means? Brake. Yes. Right? At the end, please leave the run as soon as possible. Don't stop in the middle of the run and have a uh, keep distance of the, of the next sledge. That's all. OK, let's try this adventure. Who is ready now? Me! OK, let's go. OK, let's start. Enjoy the ride. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, we hit a ride up to the top of the course. Hello. Long farewell. Hey, whoa, here we, we go. go. This is awesome. Switzerland certainly offers amazing ways to absorb the culture and the breathtaking views. We rode the trails by bike and cruised the pass by pony, took a toboggan ride down the mountain, searched for treasure by train, learned how to carve a traditional Swiss instrument, and we engaged our senses at an adventure park and in the kitchen. 
I'm Colleen Kelly. Thanks for watching Family Travel. Enjoy making memories on your next family vacation. Funding provided by... I am never getting married. Mm. We're never having kids. Mm -mm. Ah. We are never moving to the suburbs. We're never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Kids think travel's all about fun, but parents know it broadens horizons, introduces kids to new cultures, and makes lasting memories. And that's pretty awesome. Family travel equals family fun. City Pass. Resorts for the whole family. Holiday Inn Club Vacations. For more information on upcoming destinations and projects, visit FamilyTravelCK.com. Follow us on Twitter and find us on Facebook. We love to hear from you.